It's only till recently that we've had Theresa May, who will be remembered as a Brexit farce prime minister, but who will remember as the, as the person in the Home Office who put a name, explicitly named what the state was doing and used to talk about hostile environment. Because what Francis is talking about from way back and what Suresh talks about in the, all of his testimony, in the background there you realise that always there has been something that we might want to call a hostile environment. To call that is too small. Actually give it his big name. It's the state's complicity in systematic racist practice in this society. We can talk about the everyday on the street. Uh, Stephen Adden used to talk about the racism that kills. It's not a separate thing, it's continuous, yes, that, uh, the, the, those practices. And at the center of it, what Ciresi's testimony has demonstrated, what Francis's testimony demonstrated, is that we have state complicity, the state's place in, in creating and recreating and rejuvenating systematic racism racist practice in, in the society. And so the courage of the communities that Fresh has been talking about, he's been talking about just himself, and then he gets down to, to if you like, and then he gets down to, to, to Southall. But in fact, you will have realized, and he himself has referred to it, you can do the Suresh story in Bristol, in Wolverhampton, in Birmingham, in Manchester, in Liverpool, even older, in Cardiff. You can go all over the damn country. And, you, and so you begin to have a size of what it is that this black community, uh, this, this, this activism, has placed on the state's agenda. It's not something we can be triumphalist about, but at least we got it there. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, it's, as, it's as well for uh, people who are doing anti-racism now to realize that that is the tradition that they're acting in and that it's on the agenda for that reason. Hostile environment, equally uh, outrageous, of course, but, you, but if, you, if you think it's just something of the now, you know, exposed by Theresa May's hand being in, in that space. It has been the story. It's a part of the story of systematic racism yes, in the society, always with the state's hand in it, reproducing and so on.